I'm standing 10 meters below the surface under this massive counterweight of this Intamin flying island right here at the Efteling theme park resort in the Netherlands. How does this attraction stay balanced? How does this attraction work? Welcome to Theme Park Science. At 45 meters high, the pagoda in the Efteling is, well, you can say the highlight of the park. It's very early today, it's 7 a.m. and we have an appointment with Danny, who is technical coordinator right here in the Efteling. Before the attraction can be checked, we have to install the safety lock on the main switch of the ride. Um, Danny is at the main switch right now. Hi Danny. Good morning Danny. This is the special key for the main switch of the ride. Yes, uh, we want to work safe backstage. Mm -hmm. That's why I put on the, the main switch and put my lock on it. So that's uh, because what I already said, we want to work safe. Yeah, so now everyone knows, okay, you have the key of the main switch of the ride. So now we can walk backstage safely. This is the engine house of the Pagoda. Um, the hydraulic area of the ride. Let's That's check. right, correct. Ah, I smell hydraulic fluids. <laughs> this is the uh, electric motor of the Pagoda and um, this pumps the oil through the pipes, through the filters, to the cylinders of the ride. So actually this motor makes the Pagoda go up. Uh, Danny, we have no time to waste because the guests are coming soon. So, could you help me out, please, and check the uh, hydraulic uh, liquid, please? Okay. Let me check. Um, well, it's between um, the markers, so I think it's okay at 70. That's correct. That's uh, okay. The Efteling does good housekeeping, which means that all of the parts installations are kept as clean as possible. This is done so that any malfunctions and any leaks can be spotted quickly. In case of any malfunction or system failure, um, the attraction will always go down gently. And we can do this by switching this lever. So we can operate the attraction well, at a safe and manually way. There's an additional motor installed for this purpose. Uh, we call it the diesel generator and we have to check it every single morning if it works. Here we go. Everything is checked and safe. So we go now to the next location. It's time to uh, check the axis of the ride. This is the hinge point on which the attraction leans. And we can see the counterweight right over there. The attraction hinges right here on this point. When the attraction go up, the cylinders pull the temple in the air and the counterweight will take over the weight of the temple. And we call this the value of the lifting point. Huge forces are placed on the pagoda during operation. And all these movements cause the vibrations to spread to the bearings of the shaft. That's why the bearings can withstand axial and radial loads. I think this is the most important part of the ride. We are now going 10 meters below the surface. Here we are checking for anything out of the ordinary and if these hoses from the hydraulics are attached properly. Everything is uh, safe and checked here, so uh, let's go down. Wow, Danny, this place is huge. That's, uh, that's right, it's a huge place. We are uh, 10 meters below the surface. And we can see the counterweight, well, and of course the counterweight will be lower during operation in this section. And we can actually see the oil dampers when, in the case of a malfunction, well, these oil dampers will catch the counterweight. That's correct, yes. So here we can see the fan that cools the oil. So this is placed at the bottom of the well on purpose. Well, because warm air naturally rises. And during the summer months, the hot summer months, well, this installation has to cope with high temperatures. So this is the fan that cools the hydraulics. The working principle behind the pagoda has everything to do with moment equilibrium. And to explain the concept of moment equilibrium, I'm here with this seesaw. 
a moment is defined as a force times a lever. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use myself as the gondola of the pagoda. And I will be seated here at the end of the seesaw. And I will use Danny as the counterweight. And we're going to find out at what distance he needs to be seated for perfect equilibrium. All right, so let's check this out. Danny, can you please help me? Of course. Let's measure the distance from where I will be seated to the center of the hinge. That's 130 exactly. Now I will weigh myself using this scale. And I am 74. Now if you can be on the scale, that is 96. So I will do 74 times 130 divided by 96 is one meter. Okay. So let's measure one meter of length Here we go. to that side. Exactly that is right over there. Just in front of the grab bar. All right, so if you can be in front of the grab bar, I will be on 130. And then if all is well, we are very close to perfect oh. equilibrium. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's check the moment equilibrium for the pagoda. For that, we need the distance from the central axis to the gondola, and that is 43 meters. And the distance from the central axis to the center of mass of the counterweight is eight meters. Now we also know the weights of both the gondola and the counterweight. So with that, we can do this calculation of moment equilibrium. On the side of the counterweight, the net moment is 10,125 tons. Whereas on the side of the gondola, the net moment is 2,720 tons. So that means that in this way, the pagoda is not in equilibrium and we really need these hydraulic actuators to make up for this difference. It's time for the next unique location. It's uh, below the temple and we have to hurry though because the guests will arrive in just 30 minutes. Underneath the temple, we have to check the stabilization unit of the uh, ride and of course the pivot point. We can clearly see that the stabilization is linked to the temple on this point and this is where the corrective work is done to keep the temple stable. And here we can see the encoder measuring the artificial horizon of the temple. The encoder relays the information to the stabilization system in order to set the temple to the correct balance value. When the temple comes down, it rests on this fork and this relieves the system from any pressure. Here we can see two hooks that were used for an old trapeze entertainment act in the park, which is unfortunately not long visible in the park. Well, last but not least, we checked the stabilization pump, well, of the temple itself. Uh, Danny, could you help me out please to check uh, also here the hydraulic uh, Yes, of liquid, course. Please? This is the hydraulic motor that keeps the uh, temple horizontal. This is actually a small version of the one we saw earlier today. The attraction has been modernized a lot over the years to reduce the number of malfunctions. Like the power supply of the attraction. Instead of the original sliding contacts, they use a cable to transfer the energy to the temple. So when the temple turns left during the ride, the cable will roll up. So during the next ride, the temple needs to turn to the right, so the cable can unroll again. So Danny, I think everything is checked. Everything is uh, ch uh, checked and okay, so we can go uh, for the test round. The fun part. The fun stuff. After the final checks, the safety lock on the switch may be taken off, so all the colleagues know that the Pagoda is safe and may be started up. Danny, put this attraction operational mode so we can do the test round.
pagoda is going up. Danny, thank you so much for this very interesting backstage tour. It was a pleasure for me to assist you. Well, thank you so much for helping us. And uh, if you like this video, feel free to subscribe to Theme Park Science on our Dutch uh, YouTube channel. We will upload some more English content very soon. If you want to follow Theme Park Science on Instagram, you will get all the updates. On behalf of the Efteling, Theme Park Science, see you in our next video.